We have looked at a variety of other upfront regimens, um, and most recently the important regimen of dose-adjusted rituximab with EPOC chemoimmunotherapy. And while we think that there's a significant role for that, primarily in, a, in diseases like primary mediastinal diffuse large B cell lymphoma, the standard of care for the vast majority of patients remains our CHOP in the front line. We also recognize that there are some people that do extremely poorly because of genetic risk, and in particular those who have a what we call double hit or triple hit, which the audience, of course, always should know about. Always screen for that by a FISH test looking for gene rearrangements between the MYC gene or perhaps BCL2 or BCL6. And if we see those, that leaves us down an important path to know that this is usually a very aggressive large cell lymphoma. And those people might be even more appropriate as well for, for a regimen of dose-adjusted R-EPOC. And then in between uh, someone who has a double hit or a triple hit and those who don't have gene rearrangements, but they also might have overexpression of those genes and that can be seen by immunohistocytochemistry. Those people have more of an intermediate risk and those people often are treated with our CHOP as well.